There are 84 keys on an average keyboard. I press 58 of those keys at a rate of 120 words per second to write code. I do this 23 hours a day, 8 days a week. The leftover half hour is dedicated to mostly bathroom dates and happy time. Now that I think about it, the ladder requires me to be at the computer anyway, so call it a quarter hour. My name is James. I'm a computer programmer. But I'm more commonly known by my username, FloppyDix157. It was a typo. But I decided to keep it because of its apparent humor and appropriateness when making accounts on adult websites. I have something known as eidetic memory. It's like photographic memory, but I'm more prone to memorizing only numbers, words, and data. I'm not very social. People find it hard to be with me. I don't have opinions. It's not that I don't want them. I just can't mentally conclude to anything. For example, a friend of mine asked me if I had noticed her weight loss. I blurted out a statistic that I found on ScienceDaily.com that stated that 10% of women are bulimic. She didn't seem to like that. She started to cry. My job. My purpose. To create flawless, consistent code to keep the online world, my world, running. No irregularities, what's up? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. There's something that right. I'm so sorry. I read in a magazine so that 67% of women in college have a boyfriend. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Could this be a boyfriend? This must be a boyfriend. Oh, oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Let me help you. I'm really what did you sorry. do? <laughs> nope. Oh. oh, oh my, um, yeah, I think we're done here. Alright, that's enough. Um, again, that's enough. We need to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. <laughs> I know this, I know this, I know this. It has something to do with feelings. I remember one night when I was little, my mom told me that if a girl was able to make me think with my top head more than with just my bottom one, I found something valuable. Then she took her last shot of vodka for the night and said, Affection did three things for me. Kept me sane, made me insane, and gave birth to you. That's it. Affection. Affection. Noun. A gentle feeling of fondness or liking. See also. Crush. Like. Love. Crush. A brief fascination for someone. Like. Find agreeable, enjoyable, or satisfactory. Love. An intense feeling of deep affection. Hmm. But what do I do now? I guess there's always... I'm a walking dictionary. 
But the ironic fact is, it would be a lot easier for me to rewrite the Bible than to write something on my own. And yet, here I am, trying to write a poem. I know a lot of statistics. I throw them out constantly with no remorse. Yet all statistics, even those at the larger scale, come with endless amounts of potential error. But if there's one piece of data I can count on, it's that there is at least one guy out of six billion right now who feels empty. It's the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. I have to apologize, however. One, for spilling water all over your keyboard. And two, there's something you don't know about me. I didn't know that you have the brightest teeth I've ever seen. <laughs> Did you know you have a 25% chance of being born without wisdom teeth? <laughs> <laughs> 